Voyager 2 is a space probe launched by NASA on August 20, 1977, to study the outer planets. Part of the Voyager program, it was launched 16 days before its twin, Voyager 1, on a trajectory that took longer to reach Jupiter and Saturn, but enabled further encounters with Uranus and Neptune. It is the only spacecraft to have visited either of these two ice giant planets. Voyager 2 is the fourth of five spacecraft to achieve the solar escape velocity, which will allow it to leave the solar system. As the two Voyagers travel into deep space, they carry a small U.S. flag and a golden record packed with pictures and sounds mementos of Earth. This picture shows John Cassani, the Voyager project manager in August 1977, holding a small flag that was folded and sewed into the Voyager's thermal blankets before launch. Pioneers 10 and 11, which preceded Voyager, both carried small metal plaques identifying their time and place of origin for the benefit of spacefarers that might find them. With this example before them, NASA placed a more ambitious message aboard Voyagers 1 and 2, a kind of time capsule intended to communicate a story of our world to extraterrestrials. The Voyager message is carried by a phonograph record, a 12 inches gold plated copper disc containing sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. It carries extraterrestrial instructions for playing it. Voyager 2 launched on 20 August 1977, about two weeks before the 5 September launch of Voyager 1. This photograph of the southern hemisphere of Jupiter was obtained by Voyager 2 on 25 June 1979, at a distance of 8 million miles. Seen in front of the turbulent clouds of the planet is Io, the innermost of the large Galilean satellites of Jupiter. Io is the size of our moon. The first closed look ever obtained of Jupiter's satellite Europa was taken on 9 July 1979 as the spacecraft approached the planet. This picture was made at a range of 152,000 miles. The complicated linear features appear even more like cracks or huge fractures in these images. Also seen are somewhat darker mottled regions which appear to have a slightly pitted appearance, perhaps due to small-scale craters. Voyager 2 approached Saturn in August 1981. This enhanced color picture shows the planet, its rings and four of its icy satellites. Three satellites, Tethys, Dian and Ray, are visible against a darkness of space, and another smaller satellite, Mimas, is visible against Saturn's cloud tops near the left horizon and just below the rings. This image was synthesized from images taken in Voyager's orange, blue, and ultraviolet filters, and was processed to create an exaggerated false color. Possible variations in chemical composition from one part of Saturn's ring system to another are visible in this Voyager 2 picture. This highly enhanced color view was assembled from clear orange and ultraviolet frames, obtained on 17 August 1981, from a distance of 5.5 million miles. An image of Uranus taken on 14 January 1986 from a distance of approximately 7.8 million miles. This dramatic Voyager 2 picture reveals a continuous distribution of small particles throughout the Uranus ring system. This picture of Neptune was produced from the last whole planet images taken through the green and orange filters on Voyager 2's narrow angle camera. It shows the great dark spot and its companion bright smudge on the west limb, the fast-moving bright feature called Scooter and the little dark spot are visible. Another image of Neptune was reconstructed from two images taken by the narrow angle camera through the green and clear filters. Voyager 2 scientists Carl Sagan, top center, in blue shirt and glasses, and Ed Stone, lower right, look at images captured of Neptune's moon Triton. A global color mosaic of Triton, taken in 1989 by Voyager 2 during its flyby of the Neptune system. Triton is by far the largest of Neptune's moons and is one of only three objects in the solar system known to have a nitrogen-dominated atmosphere, the others are Earth and Saturn's giant moon, Titan. The bluish-green band visible in this image extends all the way around Triton near the equator, it may consist of relatively fresh nitrogen frost deposits. Chuck Berry and Sagan at a celebration of Voyager 2's Neptune flyby in August 1989. Barry's Johnny B. Good is the only rock and roll song on the golden records traveling aboard Voyagers 1 and 2. A new mission logo. On 10 October 1989 and 5 December 1989, the probe's cameras turn off. On 30 August 2007, Voyager 2 passes the termination shock and enters into the Helios Heath, approximately 1 billion miles closer to the sun than Voyager 1's route. The image shows the mission control room near Pasadena. This illustration shows the position of NASA's Voyager probes outside of the heliosphere, a protective bubble created by the sun that extends well past the orbit of Pluto. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, or the edge of the heliosphere, in August 2012. 
Heading in a different direction, Voyager 2 crossed another part of the Heliopause in November 2018. Hey guys, if you like the video then make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.